Well, hey, my fellow video gamers and Let's Players, I'm Jettleplays, and welcome back to the Elite Four of Pokemon Platinum. I guess I can call it that. I don't know. I didn't do it for Aaron, but I'm going to be doing it for the next person. So, in the last episode, like I said, we beat Aaron, the Bugmaster, in only like seven minutes or less, actually, because we did something before it. In this episode, we are going to be taking on the next Elite Four person. Who is that? Well, you're going to have to find out. But first, I would suggest, actually, putting out Leifeon, or... If you have a grass type, put it out first. So we're going to be putting out weed to the front of the party. And now, let's continue on. Now, the rooms do not exactly... They're not, like, right after each other, like in some of the Elite Fours. You have to go up this little elevator and go through this room to get to the next person. Now, as you know, I already saved, and look at this. It is that Pride Rock from The Lion King. I'm just gonna, probably going to mention some things throughout these rooms, but personally, I believe the first two rooms for the Elite Four look cool, but the last two, they just don't look as cool. Well, let's fight this person. Well, well, you're quite the adorable trainer, but you've also got a spine. Ahaha, I'm Bertha. I have a preference for ground-type Pokemon. Well, would you show this old lady how much you've learned? This is Bertha, the Elite Four Master. Yes, I'm going to be doing that... For everyone, even though this is right after the other fight, but she'll send out Wish Cash, who is four times weak to grass since it is a water ground type. So if you start with an electric type, you are going to probably be not in a good place. So I'd personally just say use Magical Leaf, or any grass type move for that matter, since Magical Leaf is probably not even the best grass type move you can use against this Wish Cash, and probably won't even kill this Wish Cash, actually. That is what I thought. And now Sandstorm. Now, it looks like this Wishcash does not know anything that it would be super effective against this Weed. So you'll be seeing Weed will be the main person throughout this fight. Now, let's actually use Giga Drain after this. Because I, I, you gotta expect, once they're in red, they're going to be using a full restore. I don't know how many they have, but I'm personally going to be using Giga Drain. Just because I do want to refresh a little bit of my health from this little bit of the person. But I'm just going to be saying, if you think you can use a grass type for this whole battle, well, that's probably your fault, because you can't really use a grass type for this whole battle. And the Sandstorm Rages, which is actually, we will get buffed, but I believe the other person won't because he is part ground type. And now, I actually believe Empoleon won't get buffed either, because Empoleon is part steel. And now we have finally taken down that Wish Cash. As you see, these fights will slowly and slowly get tougher and tougher. Now, Bertha's really not all that tough, so I would expect you can beat it on one try. But the Sandstorm Rages, and that could be a really bad thing, because Sandstorm can really affect your, po can really affect your Pokemon really bad. You need these weird things where I have to swallow something, and it's just weird. So that's why, that's why in this LP it's been a little weird, but Gliscor. Huh. I'm actually going to be switching out to my Flygal, because, well, Gliscor's faster than my water type, and that could be kind of bad, because he actually knows Earthquake. So what I'm going to hope for is to be using Fly and hope to do some damage. I could use Cross Poison, but I believe Cross Poison's not gonna is like barely gonna do anything. So let's just hope we can actually do this. And yes, the Sandstorm Rages will still get buffed even if we are in the air. And that was actually weird. The HP actually went down pretty fast. So it is going to be doing neutral damage. And does he have anything that could really affect me that bad? I'm not so sure about Ice Fang. And Ice Fang does do some good damage. So this is the only thing I was kind of worried about with fighting this person. This Gliscor. The Gliscor isn't even her main Pokemon. It's just that it is kind of hard to beat, I guess, because these Pokemon know moves to counter what they're weak against, just to tell you. They know what to use. And now, if I don't get a critical hit, I'm probably going to survive this. Now that I said that, I'm probably going to get a critical hit. And I did not. And, oh goodness, I'm frozen. So let's bring out another Pokemon, just in case. Huh. What should I bring out? I will actually... Let's bring out Dracor, just in case. Even though he has Ice Fang, Dracor is pretty dang fast. So I believe we shall be doing something good. And does he use... Oh, I use Thunder Fang. That is actually really good. So let's use Dragon Rush and hope to hit. Yep, Dragon Rush hit, and that should hopefully kill it, right? Yep, that's what I thought. That killed the Glitz score. So as you see, Dracor is really the Pokemon I use if I'm kind of uh, stuck in a pickle, I guess you could say. So now Rhyperior. This one, huh, let's switch Pokemon actually. Let's switch out to Weed again. 
I looked at the stats for Rhyperior, and Rhyperior is weak to a lot of types. He is weak to water and grass, both four times effective to him. And this is actually her main Pokemon. So I'm going to start out with a Magical Leaf like usual, with four times effectiveness. It is probably not going to kill the Rhyperior, but uh, the Rhyperior does have Avalanche, so you have to be careful about that. But I believe Rhyperior does have some pretty good defenses, or Rhyperior will die in one... Oh, that was actually really close to dying. And thank you for doing that, because that means she will not actually heal. And ooh, that's a bug-type move. I forgot, uh, Leafeon's a little weak to bug-type moves. C can you survive? Can you s Thank you. Thank you. Now let's use some Magical Leaf. And I knew they wouldn't heal, because they'll only heal if they are in the red. So Rhyperior is down, that is good. Her main Pokémon is down for the count, and we shouldn't have to worry for the rest of this fight. But we are going slightly into a little bit of a pickle. Not really, though, but Golem. I am actually going to switch Pokemon here and bring out Jet. Because Jet is really the main person you want to use for this. And, of course, my dog is barking in the background, so hopefully you don't hear it. I'm pretty sure you won't hear it because the music is pretty loud for this, but I don't know. It's just, you know, I've never really gotten complaints for it. But let's use Surf. And that's what I thought we are faster than it, and it's probably going to kill it in one shot, because Surf is pretty powerful, and it, Golem's four times weak to water, so Surf, yep, that's what I thought, Surf would kill it, even though it did have Earthquake, because Earthquake will actually be super effective against Jet, and now, how many Pokemon does she have left? She has a Hippowdon, which I'm going to keep battling. Now, in Diamond and Pearl, her Hippowdon is actually her main Pokemon. That is not the case now, and also Sandstorm will not hurt us. Because, I guess I has Sandstream or whatever. But we are going to be using Surf. I have no idea how much effective it is, since it is only ground. It should only be times 2 effective. But it does no Earthquake, which Earthquake should not kill it, or if we might kill it with one Surf. And never mind, we killed that Hippowdon. And I believe, yep, that was her last Pokemon. And we have defeated Elite Four Bertha. Not that hard, but it definitely was slightly harder than the first fight. It took slightly a little bit longer than it did, but you know... Well, these are the Elite Four. They're really powerful. You're quite something, youngster. I like how you and your Pokémon earned the win by working as one. That's what makes you so strong. Aha! I think you- I think that you can go as far as you want. Yep, so. Now, as I said in my outro, I shall be healing up with our little Hyper Potions, because none of us died, but we do need to heal up with some of these Hyper Potions, because we are kind of low on the HP for Fly Gal and Weed, and also we need to revive, well, not revive, but we also need to, uh, unfreeze Fly Gal, because Fly Gal is a little, Fly Gal is a little frozen. And also, we're going to have to save, but in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum, we are going to be facing the third Elite Four member, and, well, that's going to be it. We're going to be facing the whole, the fourth Elite Four member. Why did I exit out of that? I don't know, but, ugh, 40 hours. I didn't want this LP to last more than 40 hours, but I guess it happened. But we are going to be saving, so in the next episode, we are going to be doing just that. So this has been Juddle Plays, saying see you later, and goodbye.